What you see is a lush 50-acre campus. What you feel is a deep sense of serenity. As majestic as it is on the outside, the Marion Center's true beauty is found inside its walls, where a devoted staff of about 40 labors daily for children with special needs. Did she cry this morning? She cried this morning? No. Sister Lucia Chicote is the executive director, and if the Marion Center were a living organism, she would be its heart and soul. And I believe that when God who created us, give us a new job, he's obliged to give us even the strength and the graces to do it. People say they're very happy this lady, maybe they drank something. <laughs> water, <laughs> lots of water. <laughs> and she certainly needs it. Every day, several times a day, Sister Lucia's job requires her to walk from her office to the classrooms, to the auditorium, to the library, to check in on her staff and more than 100 students. <laughs> At age 90, she's light on her feet and strong in her mind, her tenacity and boundless energy fueled by the divine. Every time that a human being tries to improve another human being, we really do something good for all humanity. For the Marion Center's fully accredited school, adult day training and work programs, adult rehabilitation center, residential area, playgrounds and pool to all run smoothly, it's no secret. Sister Lucia relies on the most high and what she considers to be the most high-tech communication devices she's ever used, email and cell phone. But her trailblazing efforts date back decades before these modern marvels became a cornerstone of business efficiency. The year was 1963. I had with me 10 very young sisters. The, the heart of heroes. South Florida lacked resources for special needs children. Led by then 47-year-old sister Lucia, the women arrived in Miami from Torino, Italy. They faced language, cultural, and educational barriers, but they overcame it all to do the seemingly impossible, take the grungy lot that was the Marion Center and transform it into a pristine place where the developmentally disabled can grow, learn, and thrive. We are ready with your minds, with our hearts, and we knew that our Lord was with us, our companion. And so it has been ever since. Divine Providence, working through Sister Lucia, has kept these doors open and serve countless children and young adults. Melanie Gomez, who works as the center's director of development and whose son Nicholas is a student here, attests that Sister Lucia is truly heaven sent. She literally is as dedicated as I am. It is her life mission to make sure that my son accomplishes his goals. A tribute to a revered woman whose work is not yet, as she says in her native Italian. Finito, thank you. In fact, Sister Lucia says she will continue to walk as long as she has to for the most precious of God's children, walking always by faith, not by sight.